D. Carey, 1121 Brookdale Drive in San Leandro. We own the abutting property to the Bell Theater. And um, I want to just make a few points. On the emergency door exits, when a bollard is placed there, we would like to be notified because we do not want it on our property. Mr. Dillman owns six and a half feet on those exit doors, but he always tends to, and is right now, or he was earlier, blocking those exit doors with his van partially on our property. And you know that we are in litigation over this, so I just want to make that clear. Also, the theater does fall under Title III of ADA, certain parts. I know there's restrictions. It's very complicated. I'm not an attorney. I can't decide where he falls under there, but I think someone should do some research on it because he does fall under Title III of ADA. It's almost a discrimination against handicapped people if they cannot have handicapped certain things, okay? Um, uh, we would like to see the owners of Pep Boys, McDonald's, Harry's Hot Rows, and anybody else that he intends to use their parking lots have the owners put it in writing, not the managers and the employees that say, sure, go ahead. Especially like some of his events are going to be from, you know, 14-hour days. If he gets four a month, if he has them on a Saturday, and they go till midnight, is Pep Boys and, and McDonald's going to let him use their parking all day long until midnight? You have to give that a consideration. I think that's up to the owner of those properties to do that decision, not the employees. Um, uh, let me see. We read over the changes that you proposed to give Mr. Dillman, and we object to the liquor totally. You have no idea what liquor does to anything. That is a theater, a movie show, and has always been like that until Mr. Dillman purchased it, and now he's trying to change the idea that a theater isn't to show movies, it's for all this other events and what have you. Um, we think the city of San Leandro should limit their liability. Number one, if you have dance recitals on that stage, and what if they are children and some child falls off and a mother goes to sue, we could ask the city attorney who's going to get sued, along with the owner of the theater. I don't think they should have dance recitals. That stage was never intended for, for events. It was intended for shows, and it has not been changed. No one has mentioned how big it is, how many people it will hold on there. If you get a band of 10 people, how much space does that give a drummer? You know, nobody has said anything about any of that. And, um, hmm, uh, let me think, wait a second, there was another one. Oh, Mr. Dillman has not complied with the conditional use permit that was in effect that you gave him, which we thought was very liberal. And he has never complied with that. Now you are making it more lenient. And what makes you or, or any of us think that he is going to abide by any of the new uses put in place? Anyway, that's it. Thank you. Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, all city council members. My name is Milton Chu. Uh, my address is 577 Hubble Colony Court, Redwood City. I am the property owner of the parking lot just nearby that is at 14760 East 14th Street, and also part owner of the Eaton Center. Uh, my main concern is about parking. And whenever the theater has an event, their patronage park all over my parking lot. So even, not only the parking lot, also in front of the Eaton Center. So that actually is a violation of law, violation of city code. And, and also, it actually has detrimental 
to my welfare. So I'm strongly against it. Thank you. Thank you, sir.